the next big technology society clash was when AI algorithms were used for decision making. They would train, they still are, they would train on data and then become, make decisions for us uh, or advise our decisions like in criminal justice or credit worthiness or, um, and so forth and so on. And those, these algorithms are used widely, but it, most people don't even know they're part of making decisions. They can't explain their decisions. And if they're trained on bias, data, they just produce bias results because that they're just replicating statistically what what they were trained to do. But even though they look like there's going to be impartial. So this, that's sort of the next wave. The third wave has been around misinformation and disinformation and the use of that information, the spread of it on social media. We don't really know how to establish truthful content at scale or what trust means at scale or moderation at scale. We haven't figured any of those out around the, the issue of moderation. So those are three major tidal waves and now comes generative AI. The, dis, the time between them is shorter between privacy and algorithmic uh, fairness was, was one time, but, but only a couple of years later before we got to the issues around democracy and only a few years late shorter than that before we get to these issues around generative AI. So these clashes are coming faster. And the truth is, even though data privacy goes back to 1997, we still don't know the answer. We still don't have a solution. I think the the question is, how do we maintain our control of our lives, our society? You know, the all of these changes by technology are changing the way we live and work and play, but they're also making the rules that we live by. And the question is, we no longer, it's not our rule makers increasingly or the laws that we have that determine our, our rules, but how these, the design of these technologies and how do we restore uh, sort of control over that.